where the hell is everyone? <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax, we'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey, well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with them. At least you got your priority. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. Jesus, they're shooting at us! That's the rope, Irish. We're sitting ducks here. Stick us on the trumpets! I should have probably mentioned there's a fountain ooze out for my head in Mexico. All right, I'll beat the sword and tinderbox once we use these sons of bitches. I stashed some ammunition near the back of the raft. Grab it if you're running low. Kill these ungrateful bastards, Marston! Sakes alive! I want that money here in class! What are you waiting for? Put it down! But could you kill a couple of these bastards? You got it all wrong, it wasn't me! at the back if you need to.
Killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. Oh, that pulque? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of myself and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it though, a little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? Shite, there's more fools behind that rock.
Heads up! More of them up on the cliff on the left! Put your gun you down! Get in Johnny boy, I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. I see that. The current should put us ashore up ahead. Heads up! There's two more! We made it, thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting out of that boat of death? <laughs> These horses look fresher! <laughs> And healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man. Drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap, or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a feck ugly man, but not a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> 